Hey folks, so in the latest uh, release of Alira, you have the new wrap feature, and this is pretty cool. And it outperforms uh, some of the other platforms that I've used wrap feature, so I'm, I'm really excited about this actually. Let's start by making a sketch on this plane. Here I've got, you know, a basic you know, rectangular prism. And if I draw a circle here, and I deactivate my sketch, and I wrap here. Let's choose a face to wrap onto. And you know, if, if you're not familiar with wrap, that just looks like an extruded cut. So let's go to a little bit more complicated example. Here I've got a very nervesy face where it starts with one concavity, it ends in the other concavity, and it uh, and it goes across a wavy path. So, let's create a sketch on this face and see what this wrap is all about if you're not familiar, right? I'll make a rectangle. I'll deactivate the sketch. Of course, it's best practice to fully constrain the rectangle. Let's go with a wrap here. We'll select our sketch. We'll select our face. And let's make that a little bit more prominent. How about five millimeters? And you can tell that we are wrapping this rectangle to be embossed normal to this face. Now we have this focus set to nearest point. If I switch to sketch center, you can see that our profile changes a little bit based on how we specify our sketch center. And then sketch plane. It changes a little bit again. I personally think um, nearest point is the most intuitive, but there's some pretty cool things about uh, the intent with this wrap that I want to get into as well with some of these other features. So uh, let's just say I've made a, a wrap with this nearest point. Looks good. I'll edit my sketch. Let's drag this past our model. So as you can tell with the design intent, we specified a face, but a Libra knows that I'm, I dragged this past my face, I'm intending to go beyond it. So it will propagate to the other faces as necessary in order to complete the wrap properly. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, now I didn't cover and I would like to a deboss or a material removal function. Same thing, except this of course removes material instead of adds it. And we can even do this with text. And I think that that's probably the most useful thing. So if I edit my sketch, delete my rectangle, and I go into my sketch text, and I say, wow, a uh, wrap. And maybe we'll do a fun font. I think the funnest font that we have in Alibre, in my opinion, would be Segoe Script. Yep, that's the one. And I'll make the size how about 50.8, and I'll click to place. Except I, st I think that I did that 25.4 still. So let me double click on the, yep, let's go 50.8. Sweet. And then I'll reposition this so that my angle will be 90. And then we'll deactivate the sketch. And there we have our text. Uh, so this was probably one of the nastiest faces that I could think up to try this out with. And uh, text is obviously pretty complicated, so for it to be able to do kind of a complicated text on a complicated face, I think it shows um, we're doing pretty good with this. So I have been loving this feature and I've been using it a lot in my personal modeling. I hope you enjoy it too. I hope this was helpful and if it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.